Welcome to The Factory. Six paranormal stories that will give you sleepless nights. Number six, the multiple suicide. In 1995, a man named Terry Cottle shot himself to death. His heart was donated as part of organ donation to a man named Sonny Graham. Sonny was 57 years old at the time. The unusual happened when Sonny met Terry's widow. Sonny instantly fell in love with her. After getting married in 2004, their relationship followed the same pattern as Terry's, ending with Sonny shooting himself to death. Number 5. Children Who Walked on Walls This is the freaky incident that happened in a house in Gary, Indiana in 2004. The owner of the house reported that her three children were possessed. She claimed that at midnight the children would wake up and talk to each other in hard voices, almost like they had someone possessing their souls. She also reported sightings of her children walking on the ceiling with their bodies twisted. The house was demolished in 2016 after the family moved out. Number 4. The Invisible Children A policeman patrolling in rural Nebraska noticed a house with its door wide open. On entering for inspection, he didn't find anything unusual. As he climbed the stairs to the second floor, he could hear children whispering. He checked out one room at a time but could not find any kids. Finally, he entered the last room and there, on top of a pile of junk, was a torn book page. He took it in his hands and as he looked at it, he saw the sketch of a police officer who looked exactly like him. Spooked, he left the scene immediately. Number 3. The Devil's Footprints In 1855, following heavy snowfall, the Devon region of England witnessed strange footprints spread out across 170 kilometers. The footprints were cloven, meaning they were split into two toes. They were seen on rooftops and secluded areas. The people believed it was Satan who walked their land searching for innocent ones. Number 2. Doris Bither's Tragic Story No one believed Doris Bither when she reported that she and her three children were beaten and tortured by three ghosts living in her house. She also presented fang-like bite marks on her back to the police. In 1974, Dr. Barry Taff of UCLA visited the house for examination. He and his assistants did witness colored lights hovering around Bither's room at night. Although they did not witness any direct attack, the incident was not written off as a mere made-up story. Number 1. Death of Isla Lam Isla Lam was a woman whose body was found in the water tank of a Los Angeles hotel in 2013. No one, including the hotel personnel, could explain how she reached the inaccessible water tank. More mysterious stories unfolded once the police examined the CCTV footage. In the footage, Isla was seen to be communicating with an invisible entity the previous night. She was seen to be talking and gesturing to it. No further findings could be found in the gruesome incident. Watch out for more spine-chilling stories from around the world in The Factory. Subscribe to The Factory now and never miss an update. Do let us know in the comments column if you have suggestions for videos that you'd like us to produce next.